Hi everyone. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about scientific notation. Our goal is going to be to learn how to use scientific notation to quickly and efficiently express large and very small quantities in physics terms that are easy to read, easy to write, and easy to understand. Why use scientific notation? Well, in physics, the magnitude or size of measurements can vary tremendously from very large values. Say the width of the United States, for example, is about 4 million meters across from New York to San Francisco, which we would write more efficiently as 4 times 10 to the 6 meters, down to something as small as the thickness of a human hair, which is about 100 microns or 0 0.0001 meters which we could write as 1 times 10 to the minus 4 meters. Even smaller, a transistor on an integrated circuit, the width of that can get onto the order of 0 0.0000001 meters, which is much more efficient to write as 1 times 10 to the minus 8 meters. And of course, things get even larger and smaller than that quite regularly in physics. So how do we do this? Well, which is easier to write and read? 4 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 or 4 times 10 to the 12th? No, the answer is obvious. Or 0 0.0000000001 meter for something much smaller than 1 can be much more simply written as 1 times 10 to the minus 9 meter. So the rules for doing this are fairly straightforward. First, show your value using the correct number of significant figures. Then, rewrite your number with one significant figure to the left of the decimal place. Then, multiply what you have written times 10 raised to whatever power gets you back to your original value. It sounds a lot more complicated than it is, so let's take a look at a few examples to try and uh, fill in some of the details. If we start with something like 300 million in scientific notation, and assume we know this to three significant figures, let's write this in scientific notation. That would be one significant figure to the left of the decimal place. We know three significant figures, so there's our three significant figures, and it's multiplied by 10 to some power. What power is that? Well, if we put the decimal place, started here, and it moved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight steps, that must be three times ten to the eighth. Let's look at something much smaller than one. Something like this string of zeros, 282 meters in scientific notation. How could we do that? Well, we have three sig figs, so let's start one significant figure to the left of the decimal point, 2.82, and now the decimal point moved one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 spots to the right. So we multiply by 10 to the minus 15. Let's try another one. Express the number 0 0.000470 in scientific notation. Again, it's easy to see we have 1, 2, 3 significant figures. So we'll start off by writing one significant figure to the left of the decimal point filling in our other known significant figures. And now the decimal point had to move 1, 2, 3, 4 places. So that must be 4.70 times 10 to the minus 4. And one last example. Let's expand the number 1.11 times 10 to the 7th. Let's put it in non-scientific notation. So we start with 1.11, and then we have to move the decimal place decimal point seven places. So it must move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places. So our final answer would be one 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 zero 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 or eleven million one hundred thousand. Next steps Try writing down a very big number, and then assuming you know it to four significant figures, try expressing this in scientific notation. Then let's go the other direction. Write down a very small number, something much less than one. Express this number in scientific notation, assuming you know 
two significant figures. Finally, if you need more help or looking for more resources, check out aplusphysics.com.